Thank you, General Ayers and uh, fellow panelists. Uh, I think uh, everyone will agree we had another, uh, another great panel. Four panels in uh, the last two days have all been great. Uh, at this time, we'd like to, uh, we'd like to begin with uh, concluding remarks. Uh, and so I'd like to invite uh, General Kim uh, to, uh, to uh, take the podium, or General Tulele first, or both. Uh, look, w once again, this is going to be uh, short and sweet. Uh, one, I want to thank the council. I want to thank uh, the sponsors. I want to thank ICKS, uh, who is a co-host of this. Uh, Dave Maxwell and Georgetown University for allowing us to use this facility, which I think was a tremendous draw. The panel members and discussants, thank you for your papers and also your informative comments, and most of all, I thank the attendees. In a real sense, I think uh, the, this was a very successful uh, conference because of the attendees and the insightful questions uh, that you asked. So with that, I thank you very much. Uh, we look forward to having you here next year. General Kim. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, General Tillily. Um I also think it was a very fruitful uh, conference, the, uh, among which I have experienced. Well, I, well uh, may I say one of the best conferences the, uh, I have experienced. Uh, well, uh, especially I would like to thank to the, the uh, organizers and the, those who wrote excellent papers and prepared the uh, discussions. Um, uh, uh, although it is repeated, uh, I also express my thanks to just the, uh, those who provided fund and participated in the conference and supported uh, this, world, this activity. Um, many changes are expected at the end of this year and the beginning of the next year, I think, in terms of the international uh, strategic environment uh, at the global level, the regional level, as well as the uh, domestic level, uh, not only on the Korean Peninsula but also the uh, around the uh, uh, the, the, pen the neighboring countries uh, of the Korean uh, Peninsula. Uh, it the, uh, uh, made me uh, remember the lessons I learned from. Uh, my primary school, the uh, pupil, my teacher told us that uh, the ordinary people uh, fear the change of the environment, but only brave men or brave women uh, think uh, the, uh, the, those changes as a chance. Uh, as a consequence, uh, I think those changes uh, in the strategic environment uh, at the end of this year and early next year will be uh, the great chance for us, the, uh, maybe just the, for the peaceful unification of the Korean Peninsula. Um, General Tlili and I uh, discussed last night uh, to have another conference at Seoul next year. Uh, it would be uh, in early June. Uh, well, I would like to Mm, invite the you to a uh, uh, Seoul conference uh, and to discuss the great chance the, uh, we will uh, uh, meet uh, next year. Uh, uh, before I uh, get down, uh, I prepared a small token to those the, uh, 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 the two organizers of the U.S. side, uh, Dr. Bruce Bechtel, uh, Bechtel, the, uh, a few good men were here in the United States uh, to appreciate, to express my appreciation. Uh, come on. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good job. But wait, there's more. On behalf of the citizens of the Republic of Texas and the faculty and staff of Angelo State University, I'd like to make you an honorary citizen of the Republic of Texas and all the rights, authorities, and privileges to eat steak therein. Wow, thank you very much. How about the uh, food? Uh, Cowboy hat. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.
And uh, one more, uh, the uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Maxwell uh, from the uh, Georgetown University, where he is. Ah, come on. Excellent job. Uh, really, and I agreed on to select you, the uh, excellent the, uh, 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 leader of this the, uh, uh, conference. Well, thank you. On behalf of, uh, of Georgetown and our great staff and Andrea Claybo, who uh, really organized this, uh, thank you very much. And I present you a coin from the Center for Security Studies uh, to, uh, uh, to thank you for your, your great leadership. Thank you. Okay. Thank you again. See you in Seoul next year. Thank you. We've still got a couple more uh, remarks here, please. Uh, I want to talk three points. Uh, first, on behalf of Korea Institute for National Unification, I thank and pay respect to all the organizers and participants. I suppose the average age of uh, participants may be the highest among seminars I have ever pa participated. But it was, uh, however, one of the most tightly organized and most energized seminar I have ever uh, experienced. Second, this seminar very good uh, reminds us of, uh, of the seriousness of challenges we will meet in the future. On the one hand, North Korea's nuclear development would soon arrive at the limit we could ever tolerate. On the other hand, uh, international pressure would be upgraded to the limit in the near future North Korea would ever put up with. The prospect is that in the next five or, uh, four or five years, we will experience a phase, a phase of high tension and serious confrontation with North Korea. The shape of the world after the end of, the end of this tunnel is not yet determined. This seminar has enlightened us what, uh, what are the challenges, uh, how to deal with them, and how Iraq and the U.S. should cooperate in the future. Third, uh, please don't forget uh, Kino, Korea Institu Institute for National Unification in the future. We have, uh, we have very good, uh, talented 36 uh, research fellows mostly in their 30s and 40s. Uh, we can provide caucus uh, with young and talented scholars and high quality analysis, especially regarding North Korea. And they bring new perspectives and new insights uh, to this seminar. Thank you. Nobody wants to hear anything I have to say. You want to go eat lunch, right? Um, thanks for coming. We really appreciate the big turnout we had. We enjoyed it. That is to say the board of directors of uh, ICKS. We hope you'll keep up with us. We have a website, ICKS.org, and you'll be able to get free copies of the journal articles that come out from this conference probably in about five, six months just by going to our website, learn more about the board members, learn about membership should you choose to join. Uh, thank you so much for coming. Thank you to Dave Maxwell. And Andrea, if you haven't seen Andrea around, she's the one that made all of this happen for Dave and I. We're just a pointy-headed academic, guys. Um, and uh, if we may, uh, we have a special presentation we want to make. Mr. Yes. Scarlett? Before okay. we do that, uh, I, I too'd like to thank everybody. We're going to bring Greg up here and Raymond Hahn, but I just want to close with some comments here from, uh, uh, to close out the comments uh, on unification, human rights that we've talked about so much. i just like to say I think there are four paths to unification. The first one that we all strive for is peaceful. Uh, and I think, ironically, it's the most complex. Uh, and it's the most difficult to achieve for many of the reasons. But planning for peaceful unification has a lot of value. The other paths to unification, of course, are war, uh, and, uh, which will end the regime as it exists today. But of course, we don't want to expend that blood and treasure. Uh, but everything we do for peaceful unification to plan for it would have to occur after war. Regime collapse is the, is the, the third path. And of course, that too could lead to war or at least some level of conflict. And then the fourth path would be to have some kind of internal regime change resulting in a, in a new leadership that would seek peaceful unification. Uh, those are the four general paths. But to me, peaceful planning for peaceful unification applies in every path. Uh, and it will just be uh, uh, made more complex uh, depending on which path we take. 
So even though I think it's a pipe dream to think that Kim Jong-un would ever peacefully unify uh, and, and negotiate on equal terms, planning for the integration of the economy, of culture, of the military uh, is the most complex to do in a peaceful way. Uh, as I said, war will mean elimination of the military, uh, elimination really destruction of the infrastructure in North Korea, uh, which ironically would be a much simpler way to unify, uh, except that we would expend too much blood and treasure doing that. Uh, so with that, I think we need to plan for peaceful unification and we need to plan for all of the uh, complex problems that we face on the peninsula uh, to ultimately achieve the final goal of unification. And so with that, I would, I would like to uh, invite Greg Scarlato and uh, Bruce to uh, take over so we can make a presentation to a young scholar. That didn't sound good. Um, come on up here, young man. Bob, join us. Uh, Greg's going to say more about this young man, but this young man has been accepted into Stanford University. He's been working at the Korea Economic Institute. Um, Committed for human rights in North Korea. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. He, Greg used to work at KEI. I'm sorry. Uh, and uh, before Greg gives him his award, come on over here. Got to take this off. On behalf of the citizens of the Republic of Texas and the, f and the faculty and staff of Angelo State University, Cornell on the Concho River, I'd like to present you with this badge as an honorary Texas citizen. And all the rights and privileges with steak eating rights, especially there. There you go. Thanks. You got it, Greg. Well, so it is my turn now. All of you, I hope, have noticed that we've had an extraordinarily productive two years. Raymond Ha has been a key member of our team at HRNK. His accomplishments have been extraordinary. It has been a true honor and privilege to work with him, to count him amongst my friends and our friends. We have prepared an award for him. It reads, Appreciation Award presented to Raymond Ha with the deepest gratitude for your consummate professionalism and inspiring commitment to investigating and improving the human rights situation in North Korea. It is signed by our two co-chairs, Gordon Flake, who's in Australia, Katrina Lanto-Sweat, who's in New Hampshire. All board members would like to pass on their regards. We're extraordinarily delighted to know that Dave Maxwell, who's a board member at HRNK, represents the board today. And Bob Collins represents the most distinguished group of HRNK advisors, Raymond. Thank you very much on behalf of the board, staff members, on behalf of our senior fellows as well. Thank you for everything you've done. And let me present you with the award. Well done, man. Don't drop it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming. Thank you. All right. Now, this concludes the conference. Thank you very much. And uh, we will see you in Seoul next year. <laughs>